Dear Zindagi, Translate. Dear Life is a 2016 Indian Hindi language coming of age comedy drama film written and directed by Gauri Shinde. It was produced by Gauri Khan, Karen Johar, and Shinde under the banners of Red Chili's Entertainment, Dharma Productions, Are and Hope yeah. Productions. The <laughs> film stars Ali Abbat and Shah Rukh Khan in the lead roles with Ira Dubey, Kunal Kapoor, Angad Beatty, Ali Zafar, Yashaskini Dhanu. The plot centers on a budding cinematographer who is discontented with her life and meets a free-spirited psychologist who helps her gain a new perspective on her life. Development of the film began in 2015 when Shinde signed Bot and Khan for a film to be made under her banner. Principal photography took place in Goa and Mumbai in the period from January 21st to May 20, 2016. The film features a score composed by Amit oh, wow. Trivedi and lyrics written mostly by Kazar Munir. Dear Zindagi was released on November 23, 2016 in North America, two days before its worldwide release on November 25, 2016, and grossed 135.5 million score at the box office, thus emerging as a commercial success. It received positive reviews from critics with particular praise directed towards the themes, direction, screenplay, dialogues, soundtrack and performances, especially Bot and Khan's performances. At the 62nd Filmfare Awards, Dear Zindagi received two nominations, <laughs> Best Actress, Bot, and Best Lyricist, Kauser Munir for Love You Zindagi. Dear Zindagi, Translate Dear Life is a 2016 Indian Hindi language coming of age comedy drama film written and directed by Gauri Shinde. It was produced by Gauri Khan, Karen Joha, and Shinde under the banners of Red Chili's Entertainment, Dharma Productions, and Hope Productions, respectively. The film stars Ali Abbat and Shah Rukh Khan in the lead roles with Ira Dubey, Kunal Kapoor, Angad Beatty, Ali Zafar, Yashasvini Diamaif. Development of the film began in 2015 when Shinde signed Bot and Khan for a film to be made under her banner. Principal photography took place in Goa and Mumbai in the period from January 21st to May 20, 2016. The film features a score composed by Amit Trivedi and lyrics written mostly by Kauser Munir. Dear Zindagi was released on November 23, 2016 in North America two days before its worldwide release on November 25, 2016, and grossed 135.5 Indian rupees crore at the box office, thus emerging as a commercial success. It received positive reviews from critics, with particular praise directed towards the themes, direction, screenplay, dialogues, soundtrack and performances, especially Bot and Khan's performances. At the 62nd Filmfare Awards, Dear Zindagi received two nominations, Best Actress, Bot, and Best Lyricist, Kauser Munir for Love You Zindagi. While in Goa, Kyra seeks out Dr. Jungir Jug Khan, a psychologist, for her insomnia, after inadvertently having heard him speak at a mental health awareness conference. She warms up to Jug's unconventional methods, trying to use them to understand herself. Meanwhile, she meets a musician, Rumi, and falls in love with him, but they break up before anything serious can happen after she realizes they may not be the right fit for each other. During this time, Kyra reunites with her younger brother, Kiddo, who is the only person in her family that she relates to. Matters with her family come to a head when Kyra has an outburst at a family get-together, where she confronts her parents about them abandoning her for years at her grandparents' house. Kyra finally narrates the story of her abandonment to Jug, who tells her that she fears abandonment so much that she does not allow herself to commit in relationships, leaving them before they can leave her. He convinces her that she does not need to forgive her parents for abandoning her in her childhood, but rather, she should have the maturity as an adult to see them as two regular people who are capable of making mistakes like everyone else. After this, Kyra makes an effort to reconcile with her parents and also works to finish her short film. At their last session, Kyra admits to Jug that she has grown to have feelings for him. Jug responds that it is normal for a patient to feel this way about their therapist, and while he likes her platonically, a relationship would not be possible between them. The two share a hug before Kyra leaves. Kyra finally completes her short film, which she had been working on for years. 
At the premiere, her friends, family, and exes are present to cheer her on. This is where Kyra meets a furniture designer and strikes a conversation with him. Oh, damn. Our time's up. What? Ah, maybe free ho gaya.